गुड मॉर्निंग हम बिहार रेडीमिक्स लिमिटेड वी ऑल वी वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन दिस वंडरफुल सैटरडे टू टू मिस्टर बीवीबी पर सब्जेक्ट ऑफ रोल ऑफ वाटर इन बाउंड्री एंड बाय any person yeah. a lot of uh, materials uh, and uh, he has contributed significantly in cc as well as later cc lot of work in the Yes. Bye for this uh, wonderful. I hope all the uh, uh, concrete technologies does a benefit. We should be we be wise. So. All of you. I would like to thank Mr. Kaushik for help in on role of water in concrete. It is not to be a very simple, especially especially. you are all use and water and cement in various processes there are so many regarding the role which require a little depth to so that you get a better picture about how the water changes so the brown is under these seven broad heads here what is send modification of particle the last one here whatever are the six points which we have been talking about is being used in concrete Next five six topics cover the entire thing. the role of water in concrete. So with the. General introduction. 
concrete and free. See, people think that it is not absolutely new. Maybe they be working. So started with and then officially the uh, technology concrete. It started. Now, earlier to that, thousands of people have been making with a variety of binders using things. This is installed being used and this Uh, these are beautiful products. Now, when we take the some of the going on. Uh, to the Portland cement, even now, some engineers were utilitarian using structures. Achievable. <laughs> Concrete, of course, we all, but then it will be based material. Basically, material are really relatively inert to be stable and they are not that stable that is problem with uh, the, the bad aggregates or what instability comes to it is a cement based matter transformation from the rock hard solid the concrete Important engineering property, the hardened concrete. Of course, for concrete, you have put reinforcement, only the ingredient which occupies the place. Now, the average thickness of films is in the face is on the water and cement. Film around the aggregate it has to have certain thickness. I to look at the thickness, which is minimum thickness. Centimeters per kg, that 0 0.5, 0 0.5 watt cement ratio. This is approximate, calculated the films are much. So depending on the cement content and the water content, the waste, Thicker, it can be thinner. So after looking at the phase and the aggregates, we look at not all
and chemically combines with water to form like substance. The Russians call it cement stone, but we may yes, the new form of cement, water cement. And change of phase from form to form, change of phase from the solid form or solidification. So HCP has been used as a hydrogen cement based in number of articles. Incorporated by creators. That mix so that requires while roles, roles behind them many nuances requirements of concrete like strength several other properties like permeability and possibility. by the paste thickness and the amount of water which we are using the other properties like permeability uh, and things like that Important or the concrete, the C or water cement ratio. Cement ratio has a and water cement ratio. The term as far as naming is unlikely to be so WC point two things like that, and as the person you get so please to seek to certain amount of water cement. This particular aspect is always fixed. Water cement ratio law was first formulated by Duff and Abrahams, who formulated the law of water cement ratio. Completely concrete. The strength of is inversely proportional to the water cement ratio. Yeah. Give a particular graph from IS. You say so you have curve one, two, three, which changes water cement ratio at Vertical axis, this is strength, and the right hand horizontal axis, you get the water cement ratios. So, as the water cement strength comes down, so this is the basic rule cement ratio, but then which is fully compacted. In, in fact, fully compacted, you have a lot of. Uh, voids and other things so you try to minimize it so that the strength goes to the optimum that can be obtained by etc etc now the same manner he says by the mass ratio of water to cement in the mixture Number for most people connected with concrete, and the number is inversely related.
cement ratio and says water cement ratio has a hidden meaning to particles in the paste it increases the distance when particle increases smaller amount of water this the cement, cement grains become closer the smaller this facing the faster the cement hydrates gaps between the cement and the stronger links are created grades and most importantly stronger the concrete so one wc ratio but then it that cement water ratio the picture how cement and water are related in terms of distance development water demand and curing water when we look at cement chemically it chemically combines with water and the reaction hydration chemical con consisting of complex calcium silicates plus certain which are inevitable in the process in which the cement is made so certain new form of the mixture not hpc water is not so to make the mix with sand and aggregate into easily moldable form the amount required to form a paste the quantity to and plus the quantity required to coat individual cement particles and keep them separate slightly from each other the total quantity to make a workable paste so when we add 30% by weight to cement work weight 25% in this becomes that is for the need cement when we add water the amount of so if you are making a cement paste for any test you require to have some sort of a flow the water used to make concrete is usually made with water is into forms the water in the concrete takes for some water than required for hydration spray on the concrete or the surface water this is known as curing and the water is what there are other methods of curing if you completely close the surfaces of the cement and none, none of the uh, cement is exposed to the air or at, then the evaporation from the water from the concrete is practically avoided so this is one of the methods that you, has been resorted by a process of water demand for consistency of the cement paste filling the empty space in the dry cement with some material finer than cement see there is a controversy saying that the moment you put any cement material i mean any material Uh, along with the cement, the water uh, water requirement for preparing the paste goes up. While that true, it is also seen that water can come down. That is, when we are some amount of uh, fine material which is much finer than the cement, and these particular particles are able to. Fill and without changing suppose i take cement as a powder if i have one container and put the cement there will be certain voids and certain particles you can put a finer material than cement in the same and then mix it all together again in the later container i can make it in such a way that the cement still remains 1 liter but the 
cement goes up or the pieces. In such cases, the the amount of water years to produce concrete, which is the high also to use many other materials we incorporate one is silica fume which has been used but then with silica fume the water increases because it's too fine then we have certain materials which are not so fine when we use some of these materials 10 to 15 percent water can decrease by some extent. In fact, one of the products which is there in the market, uh, which has about square centimeters per gram of surface area, uh, when we use it in concrete, then reduction of liters of water in the concrete. So up to about 15 to 20 percent, one can use this fine material of 12,000 square centimeters particular particle size distribution advantage of the particle filling. This material is finely or extremely fine, the water demand could increase, that is 12, 12, much higher, suppose it's 70,000, then the surface area is very high, so the water demand goes up. Water only about 22 percent of water by weight of cement this quantity is not adequate to make normal concrete which can be easily mixed and handled so more to make such workable the water cement can is a one that means it does occur in a few seconds it takes time maybe days in fact it continues to have the reaction continues till all the cement gets converted or all the water is whereas we At 28 days, we take the uh, as a landmark or level of hydration is enough for a set to get to the concrete. So this is about 28 percent, 28 days. So whatever that is taken, accept it, and then they find that the strength of the concrete is worked out according to the 28 day value. The water chemical combination is time dependent. Next, the, also the chem combination begins from the surface of the cement particles. This is a very important thing. Suppose we have two particles, one which is having 25 microns, having 2.5 microns. Both the particles, the surface, the, the hydration starts from the surface. 5 micron particles hydrated very fast. Energy to 25 micron, it keeps on hydrating. So, sometimes what happens at 28 days, the so what is available as a cement is still the core is unhydrated, whereas this shell has already started hydrating and giving the strength. So, this goes on even beyond 28 days. One can have interior of the part of course in hydration given years. So they have looked at all five, 25 years and all. They have analyzed and then they have found that the amount of unhydrated cement continue to be in the part of the concrete in spite of shine as Well, we talked about in concrete. Water in concrete is consumed or used used up. The remainder can exist in concrete. 
It is capable of holding a large amount of water. Water can exist in many forms. with which for the hydrated cement paste. Now, what happens? It's about 25% what we said, really about 4%. But at any period of time, 23% or 22%, by, there would be maybe much lesser compared to whatever has been supposed to have been consumed by the hydration characteristics. Now, the water. Silicate hydrated gel different states or conditions. Some water can evaporate from the surface. First, one water, two, three, inter In addition to vapor in empty or partially filled voids, water exists in HC capillary water. This water is in voids less than 50 angstroms. It is a three forces exerted by the water can be seen in two categories. Free water, which is present in voids greater than 50 nanometers, and removal of which does not cause any volume. Then there is water in smaller capillaries, which on remo removal may result in shrinkage. So when you expose concrete to certain atmospheric temperature, if the water is less than y to it has evaporated, you can have more shrinkage occurring in the concrete. This water is close to a hydrated cement based surfaces under the influence of the attractive forces. Molecules are basically adsorbed. This water can be lost on can result in cement base. This water layer is between and strongly by layers actually just like the hollow tube like thing which is intertwined with various shapes and other things. The diagrams are following this. This layer of water that is between the layers of CSH is lost on strong drying relative of less than 11 percent. That is in the case of fire, the relative humidity can come down to less than 11 percent. Rapid drying. This, then what happens is the CSH shrinks considerably when interlayer water is lost. Combined water. This is an integral part of the hydrated cement. It gives the strength and everything to the compound. It is a chemically combined water. Now the adsorbed water requires monolayer is Diagram in the diagram it is being with certain details. Next one, yeah, chemically combined water. This diagram gives you the, the diagrammatic view is there. Next one, yeah, this is the tobermerite tuber gel or CSH. Each of the Earthworm like things is and inside. So the small round things here 
these two black things are same things there. The inside interlay inside the tubes. So this water doesn't normally relative humidity comes down very high. So in fact, there is whole uh, in water about how the water exists, etc., etc., has been beautifully uh, discussed. The Meta's book with diagrams and things like that, those further can look at the Meta's book or article there. Picture about the concrete water etc etc that has been explained there Excellent. you spent that constant there are two methods one is by chemical density optimization hinted a little bit earlier by chemical mixture now, keeping in mind the what important of so, direct, it is not divert direct link. When the request for increase water work, led to the introduction of water reducing admixtures in early 1960s. That's back. Developed continues even to admixture develop to this day importance in the performance of concrete. In fact, many concretes today use more mixture, and in fact, the mixtures use chemical combined to make concrete what it is today. So the Final result of the admixture right from 1960s recently has been went of PC admixture, which is one of the recent ones, bring quite a lot of reduction in the admixture type and the amount of water. Sulfonates were the first to be used, so they can go up to 15% maximum reduction in water. Next is the next naphthalene one and the melamine one. This one was giving 25% maximum, other was giving 20%. This is mainly the different uh, molecules these things and how they behave along with the cement and the water. The most recent one carboxylated for 35 to 40. After that, there have been complex formulation using uh, any of the above 35 to 40 percent of the cat to Other advantages which will depend on the which we are using. So the just can give a reduction in the strength and the constant water cement ratio. In product which I still from master builder technology, MBT or whatever. Is the present form of it in this field. You see, and the superplasticizer production in the 70s, in and after the began in 1970s, by Japanese people, and a paved way for still influence and worldwide acceptance of the water reduction technology. People were not agreeing to use admixtures at all because of certain fear, hidden fears. But then, subsequently, once the ready mix concrete uh, industry started, then there has been a lot of development or acceptance of the use of admixtures. 
pages, all the there was clamor for dry powder at mix became available. The field for dry mix formulations like grouts, non-string formulations, etc. were able to so when we wanted to make it we can always use a powder and mixture to that we are looking for. This very developed self-compact or self-consolidate in US terminology. This seemed to be concrete while it is flow that is it is SEC other demands make other factors important so that the SEC itself it may not be in the same form as SEC but flowing concrete but other properties come into the article recently realized aspect of concrete what possible so if we can reduce the water by aggregate upgrading or trying to do with the aggregates it is also possible to water requirement by changing the smaller than cement or cement and whatever are the particles smaller than cement so this same logical extended to cement or even smaller in the lake of your finely processed powders that can this has been so experimented, which has culminated ultra high performance concrete. The ultra high performance concrete, which basically, which is having 150 MPa strength, minimum 150 MPa in this, I have a range of material particular size, grading, quality, etc. We cannot use anything and reduce the water content and expect you to uh, rather 15 to 18 percent water, which will give very high level of strengths. But this is by using particles and materials. Cement. In fact, the sand also a lot of inform in importance being used are sand-like particles which are much smaller than cement, and then they can be used by forming different grades and very interesting use of SCM supplementary cementation can ratio strength relationship for normal fly ash in a so for cement ratio we are having certain we use supplementary cement like fly ash on ggba what is cement ratio law doesn't hold good so each of the materials had efficiency factors so for example fly ash one can take an efficient provide a reasonable coefficient or equivalent for cement. For normal GGBS, the efficiency factor of 0.8 is reasonable to calculate the equivalent water cement ratio. Factors, we can calculate approximately. It is not sand, but to give us some idea about the water cement ratio and what strength we could expect. We need to carry out experiments the quality of the flyers and the GGBS and the cement varying. So, once what these factors the above two SEMs have been used extensively and have been arrived at all being approximate way. Changes to find the efficiency factors are no more valid. The combination of <coughs> Fly ash and GGBS, which is used in such has also <coughs> points. I have covered about half a dozen points as far as the water ratios and 
or the role of water in cement concrete is there are several other topics which i have not been covering in, in this because it takes time and others so the porosity in the permeability the, the shrinkage i think i will be the plastic shrink yes are there which are dependent on the water and this is one of the most important thing which changes the whole face of the concrete in fact there was one alternative title available for this which for various thank you very much thank you we are thankful people who have come on this saturday to listen to mr bvv pai's uh, wonderful lecture on water and the role of concrete any questions are there you can please uh, yes. read out some questions here bbb um I think the uh, people who have attended this uh, uh, send the questions to you please um kindly send the questions to uh, us at uh, at uh, technical here.com great in your uh we can answer uh, and uh, mr bbb bhai can answer uh, uh we thank once again mr bbb for uh, being with us today uh, for making this Uh, we all know technology series to know more technology water ratio in the uh, properties what it uh, affects the properties of concrete uh, thank you very much uh, thanks uh, for being with us today Thank you.